So I started off with a balloon and ended up with a hair dryer. Hi everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. So I was going to be doing a balloon smash and I love doing them. They're so much fun, but it just wasn't working for me. Everything that I tried failed. So I decided to start all over again and I used my hair dryer to create this beautiful painting. I've got commentary throughout and I've got close up pictures. So keep watching. Okay, I'm so excited. Today I'm going to be working on a 20 inch by 20 inch canvas, which is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters and it is a gallery gallery wrap which just means that it's thicker all around you can just wire it and hang it up you don't have to frame it if you don't want here are the colors that i'm using it's going to be a um, swipe and a balloon smash so that's a green a light green i have a gold a bluish green white just plain artist loft white and a little bit of orange. Um, the orange is a leftover color as well as the bluish green. So I thought I'd try and use up what I have. So here we go. Wish me luck. I think we've all had those days when no matter what you do, it's just not working. And I don't know what was wrong. I just wasn't liking what I was seeing. And I did try my best and it was hard to uh, take away all that work with a single swipe again especially the last pattern was quite beautiful but I was happier that I did so I'm not having a great day <laughs> you know a couple of times try but look at this pattern now that is very beautiful it looks etched Okay, and here it is all dried up. Um, it only took a day. And look at this pattern. Woohoo! I think it's gorgeous. It's really a shame that I couldn't work with this pattern. The, it really did look like etching and it was quite beautiful, but uh, it wasn't working for me. And so I thought it's time to move on and do something completely different. Just using leftover paints with the same ratio that I did at the very beginning of the video which is two parts flow trial one part paint if you're gonna try this remember to keep your setting on your hair dryer to cool sky was very interesting but it just wasn't working for me and uh, it's just another thing that didn't work that day okay so that um, balloon smash just was not working for me I was not loving what I saw and I decided to switch it up completely and use some leftover paints and um, created this and I'm so much happier with this love what I'm seeing beautiful and I'm going to enhance it I'm going to let it dry it'll take a day probably and I'll let you know uh, but yeah way happier with this it's going to be nice and uh, so I'll see you back here in just one second so that did take a couple of days to dry and I am starting to work on the uh, sky here with my sponge. It's just a regular kitchen sponge, nothing special. It 
seemed to me that there were a lot of rivers throughout this painting, so I'm just embellishing that idea. Love the way the water turned out, it is just beautiful, and I'm just um, adding more detail to make it even more interesting. the paint ever so slightly with some water to give me those really fine lines. Whenever there's an area with a uh, block of color, I do try and add some detail because it's just uh, too glaring otherwise. While I paint, I'm not trying to uh, replicate nature. I am trying to give it my own idea and so it is a semi-abstract uh, painting rather than realistic. Again, I'm not sure in nature if there would be such a big splash uh, down at the base of that mountain, but I like the way it looked. my smallest fan brush and I'm using the edge of it to, to start creating this tree. Using the same fan brush loaded with paint, I just uh, tap along to give that area a lot of texture. Love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Two in love can make it take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. Here's another example with these rocks. Not sure that you would get these colors in nature, but I think it works in the painting. I love using this brush for water. It just creates these little splashes so easily. It's a great brush to have. This is an example of a block of color that I thought would be much more interesting if there was some detail added to it. Here again I am creating a waterfall to further emphasize the idea of many water sources. rocks, remember that um, each rock should have various shades of color. I often use an old toothbrush to flick water droplets and this time I used it as a brush. I kept working on this area quite a bit. I kept changing my mind and uh, I think it turned out well in the end. I did say I kept changing my mind about this area.
here's the finished painting and I'm very, 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 is that too many varies? <laughs> I'm very happy with it. Um, yes, yeah, so happy I decided to change my mind about that uh, smash and do something totally different. Here's some of the details. Look at that. And I did change this up. Wasn't too happy the way the waterfalls were falling. So I decided it would be best uh, to be coming from somewhere where we don't really see. So that's why I did that. And I added those few little rocks in front. That one big rock seemed to be kind of lonely. And I love that there's these various uh, water sources and they're all kind of converging down into here and off the canvas somewhere we can't even see. So love that. And there is one waterfall here that I felt worked, so I left that. Also really like that um, the mountains are abstracted. They're not realistic. And um, it really works. Worked on the sky quite a bit. Now I'm happy with it. If you click on the link you see now, you'll see more of my enhanced pores. And I have up close images coming up. So this is the original fluid pour, and this is the fluid pour after I have embellished it. Check out my new Facebook group called Amazing Abstracts, Semi-Abstracts and Pours. The link is in the description area below.